Hey guys, using the spread operator in JavaScript can be helpful in our daily programming lives. So in this video, we are going to talk about the JavaScript spread operator, what it does, how to use it, and we're gonna see it in some examples together with arrays, objects, and functions. But before we start, if you are interested in learning more about web development, consider subscribing to my channel and also turn on your bell notifications so when I upload a new video, you will get notified. The spread syntax is represented with three dots and it is being used to take elements out of something like an array or an object. By using the spread syntax, we can make some complex operations in JavaScript much easier. Now let's take this array as an example. Here, when we want to lock the elements of the numbers array to the console, we get back the array object itself. But if I put here three dots, before the name of our array, in other words, if I use the spread syntax, this time we see that the elements are all out of the array. The usage of the spread operator allows us to make some array operations much easier and I would like to show you guys some of them in this video. Let's say we have two arrays and we would like to merge them. Normally in JavaScript, when we want to merge two arrays, we had to use the concat method to merge one or more arrays in another array. So let's see, constant new array, numbers, we need to use the concat method. And inside, when I type more numbers, now the second array will be merged with the first array. So when I call here the new array, we will see that the arrays are now merged. But instead of using the concat method, if we use the spread syntax here, we can do the same much easier. So let's see. Instead of doing it like this, we can just create a new array and put our both arrays inside. Then what we see here is that two arrays inside one array. But actually we would like to spread the elements of these arrays and put them directly inside here. So basically with the spread operator, we can take all of the elements and put it inside our new array much easier. Another good example can be given when we need to split a string into characters. To do that, before we had to use the split method, which divides our string into characters and returns them all inside an array. Now, instead of using the split method, we can just basically put our string into an array and we can use the spread syntax, which does exactly the same job. We can also use the spread syntax while passing arguments to a function. Let's go back to our numbers array. And let's say we want to find the minimum value of this array. JavaScript provides a built-in method, the math function, which we can use for finding the minimum or maximum values or other things. So let's choose min here and let's pass our array as an argument. Let's also put this here. Now, when I ran this, it didn't achieve to make the calculation because the math function cannot access the elements of the array. Now, what we can do here is that we can use the JavaScript apply function and apply it to the math function, apply. And inside, as the first argument, it will be math and the second argument, will be our array. Now, when I run this again, this time we get the minimum value back. But this usage is complicated. We can actually do the same much easier by using the spread syntax. So let's clear this. And here we can directly use the spread syntax. So as we can see, now the math function has worked correctly and we achieved to do this in a much cleaner way. Like we can use the spread operator with arrays, we can also use it with objects. For example, we can also merge two objects easily by using the spread syntax. And to do that, we just need to define here a new object, let's say person. And inside, we call our two objects, object one and object two. And we use again the spread operator. And when I call our person object, now we see that our new person object is now a combination of the other two objects. I hope you guys now have a better understanding of how the spread operator works. And if you do, please hit the like button. 
and thank you guys for watching.